Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy design hack that will allow you to vectorize your designs in a snap and allow you to create a ton of designs for you to be able to upload to your print on demand business and put yourself in a great position to make a ton of sales in the upcoming fourth quarter, which is just a few weeks away. So if you're excited about that, let's head on over to my computer right now to get started. Let's go. Okay, so welcome to my computer screen. And as you can see, I already have a number of designs up on my screen that I already pre-generated prior to starting this, uh, the recording of this video. They are all autumn related. And basically all I did was I did a little bit of research and I also actually went on to ChatGPT. Let me just show you over here. And I basically asked it to generate me a list of fall related captions that I could use on a t-shirt design. And I just went and cherry picked a few and basically asked it to generate a prompt that I could use in an image generator like Ideogram uh, to generate these kind of caption designs, topography designs that I just showed you. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of it, it's relatively quite simple. As you can see here, here's one sweater weather forever. We've got the caption here and then the design instructions. All I did was I went onto Ideogram. I already have a prompt for the one that you're seeing at the bottom left, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. Well, basically all I did was I typed in topography design that reads and I copied what ChatGPT gave me. And the topography part of the design, I made sure that I put quotation marks on either side of it so that Ideogram would know that that is what I want to have appear in the design. And then obviously after I waited for the opportunity to generate an ideogram came back to me with a number of design options that I could choose from. I selected the best one out of the four and downloaded them. Now here is the hack. When you download from ideogram, if you're using the free version, you can only download a JPEG, 70% of the actual um, design size. So as you can see here, download PNG is 100% quality, but there's the padlock there, which means you need to get a subscription. But 70% quality in JPEG format works really well too as well. You don't need to worry about it. So after you download it, what you want to do is you want to head on over to Recraft. Now for those of you who've been following my channel, know what an amazing platform Recraft is. Ideogram is great for text. Very rarely does it make a spelling mistake and I absolutely love this platform too. But in terms of flexibility, when I'm creating my designs, my go-to platform is always Recraft. So here I am on Recraft. And as you can see, I already have a few designs which I've already modified. And I'm gonna show you how I did that in a moment. So the first thing that you wanna do, let's just go into a clear section. Um, I'm going to bring one of the designs onto Recraft, simply gonna click and drag and drop it onto the canvas area. And as you can see, it's very, very small. So if I zoom into it, it's already blurry, it's not crisp, it's not clear, and that's definitely not a, gonna be a good design to smack onto a t-shirt. So what we wanna do, the first things first, is we want to increase the size of it. Now in Recraft, to increase the size, all you wanna do is click on this icon over here where it says uh, upscale, so we're just gonna click on that, wait a few moments for Recraft to do its magic and upscale the image, which should be, there we go, as you can see, it's already looking a lot better, but there's still a little bit of blurriness. And if I had to go to resize it, that blurriness is going to increase exponentially. We don't want that. We want to give our paying customers the best design possible. So what we want to do is we want to right click on the design and we want to go down and click vectorize. And we'll wait for Recraft to change this rastered image into a vector. And that exercise is going to allow us to increase and decrease the size of the design without losing any resolution, without losing any image quality. And as you can see, it's already looking great. So now what I wanna do is I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna click on the scissors icon to remove the background because I want this design to be placed either on a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt. So as you can see now, the background has been removed and I now have my image. Let me just zoom out a little bit. And if I just have to grab one of the handles and increase or decrease, the image quality of this particular design is going to remain the same. Now, what you can also do is you can also create a number of variations on that design. As you can see on the left over here, we can actually edit the vector colors. So as we can see here, right now there's one dominant color in the design, which is sort of this dark brownish 
type color. So if I wanted to change the design so it would be only one color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it on Recraft. The best way to do that is press and hold the Alt key on the keyboard, click your left mouse button and drag either left, right, up or down, it really doesn't matter. And then make sure you're always doing modifications on a copy so that you're not ruining the original or you're not trying to figure out how you're going to go back. Always make multiple copies. You never know. You might actually get a number of variations of that particular design that you'll be able to utilize in your print-on-demand uh, shop. So why ruin that possibility? So if I click on that and I'm just going to decrease right down to one, as you can see, it's all brown in color. And if I wanted to, I don't know, say create a black um, design, including the icons on a white t-shirt, I can actually go ahead and click on the color and just type in six zeros and there you have it. I've got my design all in black. Now, if you want to change the colors, you just do another copy of it, click and hold the Alt key with the left mouse button, click on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to click down over here in the number of colors and I can actually just change, as you can see, the entire design if I want to. If I want to, I can actually in change the color through the color picker and I can also create a palette and change the colors on the palette. Now let's just take a look at the other designs here. As you can see, this was the original that I had for Crisp Air Fall Flare. And when I clicked on it, I could see that there were four different colors four major colors in that design, which allowed me a lot of flexibility to click and change different colors. And as you can see here, I did that simply by clicking on the colors here and just going onto that color and just changing it to whatever color that I want. Now, it, when you are creating designs for a particular season, you always wanna make sure that you try and generate color palettes that are pertinent to that particular season. And one of the best websites that I use that I always recommend is schemecolor.com. Now let me just bring it here onto the screen here. As you can see, I already have um, a fresh autumn color scheme. And what's great about this particular website is that it gives you the hex codes in a number of places that you can just copy and paste. And you know, you move away from the guesswork. If I click on back, and I go back to the search area. All I did was in the search bar, I typed in autumn, and as you can see here, skin color gave me a number of palettes, color palettes pertaining to autumn that I could just pick whichever one that I like, grab the hex codes for those particular colors, head back into recraft, and then just obviously change accordingly. And I did that a couple of times. Here's one all in black. And then here's one where I, you know, I changed it so that green would be a predominant color too as well. And another one that I did over here was with sweater weather, oh, that's a tongue twister, sweater weather forever. This was the original one, which was great on its own. I could easily download that and upload it to a t-shirt design. And I have no doubt that it would do very well. Here's one where obviously I changed and removed all of the colors, changed it to black. And then here I played around with the different color schemes or rather the different color palettes to create the design that you see here up on the screen. So it's a really simple hack. It really doesn't take long. And the opportunity for you to ensure that the designs that you're uploading to your print-on-demand stores are going to be crisp, clear, resizable without losing any of the resolution. You get rid of the background nice and quick. You have everything housed on one platform and with that you can't go wrong. So ideogram or ideogram and recraft put together will definitely help you create a lot of designs and reach a greater amount of success with your print-on-demand business this coming autumn season. Don't forget, it's the fourth quarter, the busiest time in the business calendar year. This is a time where you definitely wanna start creating and uploading your designs now, getting them up into your shops in time for the Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and all of the other holidays that come with the fourth quarter so that you can be in a great position to make loads of sales this fourth quarter. So I certainly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, Click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to my channel. And now I want to invite you to click on the thumbnail that has just appeared on your screen, bent on helping you to reach more success with your print on demand business today, tomorrow, and the days, weeks, months, and years to come. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you there.